I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we are going to understand how to find derivatives for logarithmic functions. Here we have three examples. We need to differentiate the following functions. f of x equals to ln sin x. ln is a natural log which is to the base e. b is f of x equals to sin of ln x. f of x equals to ln sin squared x. That's the third function for you. If y equals to ln, uh, let us say, g of x, then the derivative y dash will be 1 over g of x times derivative of g of x. That's the formula which you can apply and find the derivative of these functions, correct? Let's begin from the very first one f of x equals to ln sin x. So derivative d dx of ln sin x will be equals to applying the formula 1 over this thing which is sin x. So we get 1 over sin x times derivative of sin x times d dx of sin x. As you know, derivative of sin x is cosine x. So we get 1 over sin x times cos x. And cos x over sin x is cotangent x. Right? So the derivative of this function will be equal to cot x. Right? So we can write this as f dash x is equal to cot x. Okay? So that is how you can do the rest of the questions also. Now let's see how to do the next one. We need to find derivative for sine of ln x. Now that means derivative of sine ln x will be equals to cos x. x in this case is ln x times derivative of inside function which is ln x correct so that gives you cos ln x times derivative of ln x is 1 over x correct so the answer for the second one is going to be uh, that will give you derivative as equal to cos ln x divided by x. The third one is kind of combination of what we've done so far. So try to do this on your own. Here is the solution. So f dash x will be equals to derivative of this will be straightforward I'm writing 1 over sine square x times derivative of sine square x right let me write d dx of sine square x that is equals to 1 over sine square x times so derivative of this is 2 times sine x times derivative of sine x which is cos x so once you simplify this one of the sine x's gets cancelled So you're left with 2 cos x over sin x, which is 2 cotangent x. Correct? So that is how you could find derivative of these functions, which involve natural log ln. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and move forward to see some more complicated questions worked on the same concept. Thank you and all the best.